Ken, this is pretty cool. Talk about your new role and what you're expecting to accomplish in your first days and weeks on the job. I just want to go out there and, and do the things that I'm comfortable doing, and that's trying to get kids to play baseball. And I, I think that's the the one thing. I mean, my kids played football uh, and baseball, and they went over to football. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to get kids to, to play baseball. I think it's the greatest sport in the world, and I want more kids to play. You know, Ken, I was talking before you came on that um, this has been in the works for a while. It was really up to you. Commissioner's been wanting you to do this for a while, but it was up to you to say, all right, I'm ready. And just, you know, raising kids, having them go to college, and now the timing's right uh, to really get you involved in the game. So uh, was I dead on with that, or am I missing something? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, having a, a dad who played Major League Baseball, it, it, it's tough um, not being able to see him on – you know, the, the Saturdays where every other dad is uh, watching. I think my dad seen me play uh, two times in high school, maybe three. Um, so it was tough growing up, you know, where every every dad, every other dad was there um, except mine. But, uh, you know, I understand the, the thing. And I just didn't want my kids to, to feel that way um, on certain points. And I was able to say, okay, um, you know, when they get out of school at, or, you know, the last one going to college, I could be ready to, to start doing things. And, you know, Rob reached out and uh, we had some dialogue and for at least three years. And I finally said, uh, you know, I'm ready and, and uh, I think it's going to be a good thing. You know, now that you have, I guess, an official voice uh, in the commissioner's office, Ken, and, and you're going to be touching baseball operations, is there like a, a dream rule or a dream uh, circumstance that you'll start to push for in an ideal world? You can you can do whatever you want in terms of baseball operations. Are you going to expand to 50 teams? Are you going to make uh, seven inning double headers the uh, protocol? What would you do if you could just have your choice? Uh, I think it's perfect the way it is. Uh, that's just me. Um, but uh, you know the the fans, you know right now fans want it quick, and and so we, I think you know things are going to speed up a little bit, but. Um, for me, you know, having a no time limit game is, you know, what it's all about. I mean, you know, it's 27 outs and that's the beauty of baseball. It's not, you know, who got the ball, the time limit, you know, it's 27 outs and no matter what happens in those 27 outs, it's got to be played. So when, when you're talking to kids about this is the greatest game in the world, wh why was it the greatest game in the world to you? You play, I, I, we've known it, I've known you forever. So you played high school football. You can play some basketball. You think you can dance a little bit. We'll get into that another time. But the fact of the matter is baseball. Why would you say, hey, this is the best game in the world? Yeah, because it has everything. You know, you have to think, uh, their strategy, uh, you, you don't have to be physical. You don't have to be the biggest guy in the, on the field. You don't have to be the smallest guy. As long as you can run, catch, and throw, you can play this game. And if you got heart, and that's all that really matters, if you got heart, you can play this game. And I think that, you know, kids don't think that they can make a living uh, playing this game because they're, you know, too small. I, you know, you got guys who are future Hall of Famers and, and Hall of Famers who are under 5'9". So, you know, it's not the size of, you know, the, of the person. It's what you can do on that field. You know, I could care less if you were 5'2". If you can play ball, you can play ball, and I want you. Well, you can play some ball. What, what all you got behind you, man? What are all them awards I'm looking at? What, what, point out what we got behind you. I uh, got 10 gold gloves, and then I have uh, a couple uh, Rawlings 10-year, uh, well, the – decade uh, gold glove winner, and then I have the top 50 uh, gold glove over there, which they say the first 50 uh, years of uh, Rawlings being in gold gloves, I was one of the top guys to receive them.